Hi, I'm Edwin. Uh, feel free to call me Ed. I'm Dutch, 37 years old. I studied animal sciences and now working with lasers. I ended up with lasers because it's the first tool that I ever encountered that um, could replicate nature's nanostructures. And I've never seen a shark with algae and uh, the colors of a peacock butterfly are also, well, basically working, reflecting light in a different manner. And a laser is the first tool that allows me to replicate these structures onto any surface I desire and mostly on, on metals. I know a lot about lasers. I'm, I'm really fascinated by those things and doing a lot of research and, and fun research. Um, on a pragmatic view, everything that ends up in these hands ends up under the laser one way or another. And I've got a fire extinguisher next to me to save me when everything goes horribly wrong. A laser is an acronym, Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of Radiation. I don't think you can fully understand what a laser does if you don't know what it actually physically does in front of you and that you can use the machine correctly. And to tell you and to explain what the laser actually does, well, there's a part of history involved and you need to look into, amazingly, even Albert Einstein around 1920s was the one who thought of the concept of laser. So 40 years later, they actually made a working prototype and after that, the, the well, development went quite, quite rapidly with different kinds of uh, light colors, laser colors and, and, and pulse lengths and, and amping up the power, making it smaller, making it more efficient. In the end, here we are today with, with laser diodes that can read uh, a CD or a DVD. Basically in every consumer application there is. I think it's worthwhile, there's a lot unknown uh, about lasers and I think if you know a bit more about the benefits then you can make a, a better informed decision. 